Hi guys, it's Mrs. Seitz. Today you are going to be continuing what you've been learning about functions so far, but we're going to be adding this test that's called a vertical line test to determine by looking at graphs if a graph is going to be considered a function or not. So the vertical line test, and remember vertical lines, they look like this, okay, lines that go up and down, is a way to determine if a relation is a function. So remember, a function is every input has its own special output. Okay, and it states that if a vertical line intersects the relation more than once, then the relation is not a function. And if you think about it, the vertical line test is simply a restatement of the definition of a function. And when just recall, the definition of a function is every x value has a unique y value, meaning its own special y value. So if you think about it, if any particular x value has two different y values, then a vertical line will intersect at two different places. Okay, so we're going to keep that in mind today. So basically, here's how this test works. Okay. We want to take a look at this pinkish purple line that we have on this graph, okay? And we want to ask ourselves with this vertical line, if I could take this vertical line, and I realize that you guys don't have a vertical line maybe in front of you right now. So typically what I have you guys do is I would have you maybe take a pencil. So if you have a pencil sitting in front of you or a pen or something like that, Hold it up like this, up and down in front of your problem. And as I drag this line through the graph, I want you to see how many places this line intersects with the pink line. Okay, so as I'm going and I'm hitting through this pink line, you can see that it just hits the graph in one place. So boom, one place, 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 the whole entire way as I go up through this line. Okay, so as I continue the whole way up, as I'm dragging this vertical line up and down throughout this pink line, no matter what I do, it's still only going to be one place that it hits. Okay. And if it, that your graph only hits one place with the vertical line, then it passes the vertical line test, okay? If it passes the vertical line test, then your graph is considered a function. So we're going to write that down, function, okay? And how you're going to draw that on your notes is just draw a vertical line anywhere on your graph, so a line that goes up and down, just like I have right now, and then just draw an X to show that it hits only one place. Okay, so again, that vertical line test, I have intersected this line at only one point. All right, let's take a look at problem number two. Okay, when I take a look at the points, and we practiced some points earlier with 0, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 4. I'm going to take my vertical line. Okay, so far at 0, 1, I'm good. At 1, 2, I'm good. I'm only hitting that point. At 2, 4, I'm good. Okay, so it looks to me like relation number 1 is a function. And again, to show that in your notes, and I'm just going to draw mine off to the side, okay? Anywhere on your graph, draw a vertical line, and you can show that it hits in only one location. Okay, now we can see that relation number two is not a function. And you can see right here at zero, one, we're good. It only hits in one location, but right here, Whenever I'm graphing 1, 2, and 1, 4, 
I'm hitting that vertical line in two places. So right there, I'm having a problem. Okay, and you can see that. I'm gonna get my larger line out of the way. But if I draw a vertical line right through one, two, and one, four, you can see that I've hit that location in two places. Because I've hit that location with my vertical line in two places, the input of one has two different outputs. It has a two and a four. So this is not a function. It's like when you're at the vending machine, hitting the machine and getting two packages of peanut M&Ms. Good for you, bad for the machine, right? Okay, so this is not a function. Okay, let's look at this weird graph, okay? As we start out, everything looks pretty good, right? Hits once, hits once, hits once, 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 uh-oh. Right here, we have a problem. Okay, if you take a look at my vertical line, right here, I have a location that it hits once here, and it hits another place right here. Because I'm hitting at two locations, this is not a function. All right, let's take a look at this one. Does this graph pass the vertical line test? Is this one a function? Here we go. It fails, right? Okay, it only has to fail once for it to fail overall, okay? So you can draw your line up and down and you can see it hits all these different places. Okay, so again, if it hits your line more than once, not a function. And anytime we're saying it's not a function, it's just a relation. Remember, for something to be considered a function, it has to be every input has exactly one output and it has to pass the vertical line test. Okay, let's look at this one. All right, with this one, the only thing I'm a little concerned about is the value at two. So, so far I'm good, 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 good. Just hitting once, just hitting once, just hitting once. And uh-oh, at two, I might have a little bit of a concern, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna draw my vertical line on my notes at two, okay? Now, one of those points are filled in, the other one is not filled in. So what that means is the point that is all filled in, guess what, that one counts. The one that's not filled in, that one doesn't count. That's one of those ones that you learned back in seventh grade that if you have an open dot, it's technically not a solution. So technically your vertical line has only hit in one location. So this one passes the test. This one is a function because technically you've only hit in one location because one of those are filled in, not two. All right, but see how the problem changes up in the next one? Okay, it's the same exact problem, except the only thing that changes up is that second line is now filled in. Okay, so let me erase that little mark I made here. All right, so I'm gonna take my line and I'm gonna drag it now. So. Good, 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 good. Just one, 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 one. Eh. Right? I now hit two places. Okay? So at the value or the input value of two, I hit once, I hit twice. And the reason why it counts this time is because both of those points are filled in. Okay? Because both of those points are filled in, they both count, they're both solutions, so the input value of two has two output values, so it fails, this is not a function. This is a relation. Okay, in the last one, let's look at the circle. Take your vertical line or your pencil, and you can see we're failing, right? Your vertical line is hitting 
in more than one location. So anywhere on that circle, draw your vertical line and show that you're hitting in more than one location. So this one, not a function. We're failing the vertical line test. Okay, this is a relation. Okay, so to just sum everything up for today, okay, if you have a vertical line, okay, if you have a graph, it's a nice tool to help you to determine if you have a function or not, okay? If you have a function, like let me show you a problem that was a function, okay? Like look at this one. This one was considered to be a function because no matter where I would drag this vertical line, it would only hit the location in one place throughout that whole entire graph. So since it only hit in one location, this was considered to be a function. Okay, and many of the problems that we did today, if you had your vertical line and it hit in more than one location, that would mean the input would have more than one output. So that would mean it would be not a function. Okay, so anytime you have that vertical line test failing, you would be considered to be not a function.